Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I'm excited to share with you guys another watch review. Now, sorry guys, for my subscribers, it's not another Invicta watch today, but it is a watch by a company called eGuard. And what I've been doing recently, if you're if you're not new to my channel and you subscribe to my channel, I've been reaching out to other manufacturers, uh, requesting samples of their product to try to uh, kind of get more recognition to some of these brands you don't really hear about so much. I'm not saying that this is a brand that isn't doesn't have a presence on the internet, but there's lots of micro brands out there that just don't get the recognition they deserve. So I've been reaching out to these companies and requesting samples, and I basically request samples from 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 pretty much any company I can get my hands on because there's a lot of watches out there that I just don't think, again, people know about and I'd love to be able to share it with you guys in the event that you might see something that you like and maybe want to make a purchase or maybe see something you didn't think you might want to own and then make a purchase. It's always fun to get something new in our collections um, for, you know, for us watch collectors. So without further ado, the watch I want to share today with you guys is by a company called eGuard. And eGuard is a company that's been around for quite some time and they have several different uh, uh, watches on their website. They have some dress watches. They have kind of a, 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 a not a huge selection of watches, but they have some higher end dress watches. And then, of course, some kind of entry level watches. And I reached out to them a couple weeks ago and I requested one of their uh, watches that were more on the higher end. Uh, it was a really exceptional piece that had sort of an interesting design. Uh, it was in uh, kind of like a uh, I'm not going to say like a triangular shape, but it's a very, very unique design where the bottom kind of tapered down a little bit. Uh, kind of like a guitar pick, but not quite as defined towards the smaller point there. And what I liked about it was it had a dual balance wheel system, which I think looks really classy uh, in an automatic watch. It had the leather band, of course. Anyway, I reached out to the company, and naturally it's about a $500 watch, so they weren't willing to go ahead and send me that watch um, as, a, as a sample, but they were nice enough to send me a watch from their new line. And what they're doing is trying to get involved in some of the entry level, more affordable watches uh, for men and for women. And they were nice enough to send me uh, what they call their v, V1 watch. This is available in, I believe, three different color combinations a black face and a blue face. That's what I've seen on the website. They might have different colors coming down the pike. I'm just not sure at this time. But they, uh, they were nice enough to send me this watch. So, guys, thank you very much for your generosity and sending me this sample. So, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing today. Uh, this is more what you would consider a, like a, a very, very thin dress style watch, something that would go underneath the cuff on a suit. And it's going to be uh, in, in a, a square style, which is kind of nice because I don't have a lot of square watches in my collection, and I'm always looking to get a square watch. And I think this is just kind of a nice, uh, a nice change of pace. If you know, one of these days I feel like wearing a dress watch, I can wear something very, very thin in a different, unique shape. So let me just go ahead and show you the presentation. Um, this one basically is still by the eGuard company, but they call it Gentleman Wear Warfare. And that's kind of their name of this particular line that, they're, that they've come out with. A very basic presentation. You have a cardboard box and some foam on the inside. Not really too much to really say about the presentation. You don't really get a nice watch box, but it is a box that they ship the watch in. That's really, to be flat out honest, all I can really say about it. Um, let me go ahead and show you the watch, and I'll tell you just a little bit about it. Now, keep in mind, this is more of your entry-level style watch. There is not really much to be said about this watch. I'm going to go ahead and show it to you anyway and just tell you a little bit about the specifics, and I'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. Um, what I do like is they kind of uh, used what's, what I would consider kind of like this metallic blue face. And, of course, you have your second hands on a smaller, smaller dial or smaller complication. A uh, very, very simple face. You have your hour markers with no numbers on them, of course. Um, you have this kind of retro-style TV... Uh, like your old school television sets, kind of like this TV style design case. Uh, standard case back on this particular model and a genuine uh, alligator embossed leather strap. Uh, and this one, again, is done in kind of a, what I would consider a, uh, not a royal blue, but more of like a slate blue. Um, as far as the thickness on the watch, it's very, very thin, so it's going to be very comfortable and very easy to get underneath their cuff. Now, a little bit about the watch. I just pulled up some specifics. On my phone right here, I'm just going to read it off to you real quick about the size. Um, you are looking at, on this particular watch, a 39 millimeter case, okay, and that's square. Uh, it is made of a 316L TV stainless steel case, they call it. Uh, you know, kind of reminiscence of a kind of an old school television set. Uh, their lug width is 22 millimeters. Uh, the crystal on this is just a hardened mineral crystal. Japanese quartz movement, genuine leather, and you have 30 meters or 3 ATM of water resistance on this particular timepiece. So this watch can be had for $165 off their website. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this watch if you are interested. Um, 
not really too much to say about the watch other than that it's meant to be more of your entry level watch um, you know without getting involved in something that may cost three or four hundred dollars um, now I can tell you it I have to be honest with my subscribers at all times and although I I do appreciate the company sending me this watch this is a watch really that uh, I think personally and I have to say guys uh, because I, I'm not doing you guys any justice. One thing I've always said is I love the value that Invicta gives you. And you guys have noticed I've reviewed a lot of watches from Sterling and Aram, Aragon, uh, Invicta, and a few other companies that I've, that I've reached out with and were nice enough to send me samples. Uh, Visser watches, and of course I have a few more coming down the road. Delta T, more your higher end style watches. And you can really feel the higher end quality in those watches. Um, when you're looking at a watch in the price point of $165, I have to say that although this is a nice looking stylish watch, and I, I don't want to do the company wrong in saying this because they were nice enough to send me the, the sample, and I would like to review more of their product, I have to be honest, I think the price point in this watch is a little high for $165. Um, this watch realistically, I think, is marked up way, way too high for what you're actually getting. Um, you're not getting any kind of presentation whatsoever, and if you compare this watch to what you get for your money with a company like Invicta. I'm sorry, eager watch guys. I mean, this is the only review I put up where I have something negative to say. It's not that the watch is a bad looking watch. I just feel that your price point is way, way too high. Uh, there is watches all over the internet that uh, that you can get for much, much cheaper that basically, you know, this is a very simple watch. And for $165, you can get an Invicta for half the price that will be really of much higher quality. And I really feel bad saying that, but I have to be honest with my subscribers. Uh, once again, I, I, I do feel that this is a nice looking watch. I'll go ahead and put it on the wrist and show you what it looks like. But for $165, I mean, you can get yourself a Grand Diver by Invicta for $100. You can get a Pro Diver for under $100. Um, now, naturally, that's going to be on a bracelet link, but Invicta has tons of different dress style watches that you can get into for much, much less than $165, that really the quality is going to be a lot better than what I'm seeing right here. Um, tons of watches, even by companies such as like Addy K. I mean, you know, I've, I've had a lot of watches in my collection, and I, I realistically, I would say that a fair price for this watch would really be about $69. I'm not sure what their markup is on it or the retail price, but I think they're going to have a really hard time selling this watch for that price point. Now, with that being said, that's not to say that it isn't a nice looking watch and that it isn't a watch of, of decent quality, right? I mean, it's made of quality materials. You have your genuine leather band, 316 stainless steel, a basic Japanese movement, so you're not really going to get a lot of high-end stuff there. Um, when, and when you compare it, and this is why I have to be honest with you guys, is when you're going to spend $165, you can get a watch from Aragon for, I mean, now mind you, it is a different style watch. But you can get a watch from Aragon for $150 with a Seiko automatic movement that will knock your socks off. And again, this price point is just a little too high for what you're getting here, just in my opinion. I think there's lots of other choices uh, besides this watch that you can get uh, that, will, that will give you uh, much more for your money. Now, with that being said, when you go looking at a watch like this that's $165 and you look on their website and look at some of their other watches they have for $455, it's almost a no-brainer no and just spend more and get one of their nicer models. You're going to get a beautiful watch with a dual balance wheel and something that's very, very unique looking where you actually feel like you're wearing a watch uh, that costs that amount of money. Um, something like this. Is, this is way too overpriced. Now, with that being said, I've always talked about the retail game, right? The MSRP, the high prices on a lot of websites. And keep in mind, I will do my research and put links in the description where maybe you could pick this up cheaper on eBay or Amazon links. Sometimes you go to the website and they charge more for those watches. Um, I'm not really sure why. It's just kind of something they do. But one thing that eGuard Watches has is they have kind of a wheel that you spin on their website. And you sign up with your email address and you spin the wheel. And today, I got a coupon for 25% off. So it's pretty easy to go ahead and get a discount on this stuff. And, you know, if you look at a 25% off discount, that was that roughly going to put the watch at? Roughly, you know, about $100, $110 roughly, 50% uh, off, uh, $80. So roughly about... Uh, about, yeah, about 100 to 120 bucks. But even at that price point, guys, I just have to be honest with you guys. I just don't think it's worth the money for what you're actually getting. That's a lot of money for a wristwatch. Uh, that 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 again, this isn't bad quality, but there's lots of watches out there at this price point. That
that will give you a lot more for your money and really realistically a lot higher quality. And once again, eGuard, I do appreciate your generosity of sending this watch. I will definitely do more reviews of this watch and side-by-side -side comparisons from different shapes and to definitely help to give recognition to your brand. But guys, I really hope they end up sending me one of those other watches that I requested because that's a real watch that is very, very unique and I think will do very, very well on this channel. With that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, allowing me to be honest with you guys. But again, it's still a nice watch. It'll still get wrist time on my wrist. And what I want to do now is show you what it looks like. Now, I'm about 165 pounds. I have a 7-inch wrist and I, I'm about 5 foot 7. So all watches naturally look pretty decent pretty large on me. Uh, even a watch that's 39 millimeters, which is much smaller uh, than a watch that I typically would wear. But I think there's a time and a place for any kind of watch. And I have to say, this watch does look very classy on the wrist. I would feel much better about a different price point. Uh, although I did get it as a sample, I did get it for free. And again, guys, I really do appreciate the generosity of sharing me the product. But I want to go ahead and get, you know, the whole point of this YouTube channel is to be able to share my honest, everyday guy opinion and not just get positive reviews on every single thing that comes uh, comes to the table. Now, I do have another watch I reviewed recently, and that one's called the Edge Watch. And that was a Kickstarter program where the gentleman designed the watch that was uh, kind of similar in design to this, except it was a D-shaped watch. It's a very slim, dress-style watch. And when I compare that watch to something like this at a $79 price point, which is still about the same size, it has a genuine leather with stitching on it, or a stitched band uh, with kind of a cross stitch. Kind of gives you an interesting pattern. You can feel the quality of the leather, and that one is powered by a Miyota movement. At least it's a, a name brand quartz movement with a five year battery power, and that's pretty darn good. And so, I urge you to check out that watch as well. And, guys, that's why I have to say that this is a new line that you guys are launching, and I, I do hope it does very well for you. But I think the price point is to really be closer to the $79 price mark because there's a lot of other, if I didn't say enough, a lot of other brands out there that are giving you more for your money than this is for $165. But nonetheless, I have to say, I'm wearing a blue shirt right now. It does look really, really nice on my wrist. It's not a bad looking watch and I do like the, the fact that it's nice and square like that. Uh, you can see it doesn't look like a small watch and for you guys know that I, you know, I'm like 50 millimeters at, or, or, or 49 and under, I'm like, oh, that's getting a little small. But recently, actually wearing some of the smaller watches and filming these videos, actually, you know, it, it, it doesn't really look that small on my wrist. Yeah, it's not a big giant Evicta. It's not a huge watch, but it is a pretty watch, and it is, I think, a watch that has a purpose. Um, you know, if I was going to a job interview, of course, I always like to throw that out there. Something uh, where I was going to want to wear something that was going to fit under a cuff comfortably and not really cause me any kind of uh, undue attention, I guess. Because, uh, you know, sometimes people can be very judgmental. Now, tell me what you guys think about this watch. Again, I think it's a good-looking watch. I'll definitely wear it. And once again, guys, we're eager. I definitely appreciate your generosity in sending me the sample. Please send me more samples to review. I would really like to review some of your other higher-end watches. I think, that, like I said, they would do very, very well on this channel. Because I do think that this is a nice-looking watch. Um, especially wearing it with a blue shirt. So there it is, guys. That's the V1 by... Egg, um, excuse me, Eggert Watch Company. Um, although this is not actually an Eggert Watch, this is uh, called uh, the Gentleman Warfare. It's kind of their new line into the entry level, kind of lower end watch market. Not a bad looking watch at all, though, and I like it because I don't have anything like this in my collection. Anything I get that's different and unique, I definitely appreciate. All right, guys, well, tell me what you think of the watch. Give me your honest opinion. Uh, tell me what you think about some of the things I said. Also, give me your honest opinion about what you think about me recording these videos downstairs in my living room. As I said, the lighting is exceptional down here, and it gives you kind of a different perspective uh, than when I actually review these products in my office, where I'm just kind of sitting there, and, you know, the lighting is really poor in there, and here the lighting is really good. Now, I do appreciate one gentleman. I'm going to give him a shout-out. He, uh, I, I don't remember exactly what his, uh, his uh, call, or his username was off the top of my head, but uh, he'll know who he is. Um, I asked, you know, I put out there the idea, what do you think of me reviewing these videos downstairs in my home? And he said he liked the idea, but he didn't like the fact that when I got up and showed the watch, or got closer, I had my coffee table in the way. So today I moved that out of the way, and my man, tell me what you think. I think it's a much better idea. I was going to do that the other day, but I, uh, for whatever reason, I didn't. Probably because I had the, the product sitting there and I wanted to show you. I don't know. This does work out much better. So I'm going to do a few more videos today and do a few more uploads. And uh, tell me what you guys think. Remember, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. And uh, remember to click the notifications on button so that you're notified anytime I put up a new video. 
And remember, if you do make those eBay and Amazon purchases, please go ahead and do it through the links. It doesn't really matter what you purchase, as long as you make the purchase within 24 hours of clicking the links uh, through my website, Fat Cat Watches. It does help support the channel. So thanks, guys, for watching. As always, have a great day.